It's Kambada, the shaman, the god, the crack baby. And right now you're tuned in to Kofi's Universe, the number one and most truest source for hip hop news, reaction videos, sports, black culture, and much, much more. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button now. Bada. YouTube salute corrupt explains why Tupac had to take off Inspector Dex's verse from I Got My Mind Made Up. Let's talk about it. If you're new to my channel, thumbs up the video. Hit the subscribe button. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. So, Corrupt, he's featured on the Art of Dialogue podcast. Check that out when you get a chance. And shout out to the Art of Dialogue. Subscribe to their podcast and follow them on social media. So, around 95, Red Man, Method Man, and Deck, they were in Los Angeles. If you don't know the backstory, this is hip hop history for you. And they call Corrupt, well, Red Man called Corrupt so they could smoke up, whatever, yada, yada, yada. So he was like, all right, bet, I'm going to call Daz. Daz, he lived in Silver Lake at that time, which is off the 101 freeway. And so I got, you know, Meth, Red, and um, Deck out here. Like, okay, cool, come to the um, house. So that's when Daz was making that beat for I Got My Mind Made Up. Daz was actually supposed to be on a dog food album that came out in 1995. A lot of people didn't know that. So he said that Rage was in the booth cooking up, you know, putting the verse down. And everybody, like, oh, wow, look at that. You know, okay. So everybody, as far as them being MCs, got on the track. So the original track was Daz, Corrupt, Method Man, Red Man, Lady of Rage, and Deck. That's just like over six minutes. 16 bars each. That's the original track right there. So they couldn't find the um the ADAT as far as the um the, the file that it was on, the DAT, when it was time to turn into the um all the songs for I got um uh, for dog food. So they was like, you know what, we gotta turn in what we're, whatever we have due to the fact that we, we can't you know mess around and miss the window. When it's the album is due, as far as you know, the album got to be released. So at that time, Dog Food released, classic album. Tupac comes home, he's on death row. So Tupac is, you know, getting songs. So one of Tupac's, like, I guess, I guess one of the, um, not producers, but I guess the mixers, whatever, the, per the engineers found that um, I got my mind made up, let Tupac hear it. Tupac, like, oh, this is hard, this is hard. So he took off Lady of Rage verse only because she used that verse already for her album. Unnecessary roughness at that time because she was working. So at the time, Tupac jumps on the track. You know, he puts he jumps in the middle of the track, whatever they blend it in. And at the end of the beat, Deck, I guess there's no beat, it's acapella. Deck is rapping, but Pac was like, take it off, tell him dad, no, take that verse off. So like, no, you sure? Like, no, no, take it off. I, I don't want, I don't want the acapella verse on there. So he's like, oh man, whatever. But if you never checked it, um, if you never heard Dex verse from I Got My Mind Made Up, man, it was fire. He says, I set the mic in flames. My name's INS the Rebel. Murder one style, smash pile straight to pebbles. Mental terrorist specialist at this. Menacing lyricist, leave crews defenseless. Can't design landmines, lick off like knives to paralyze everything. Ears ring like doorknobs. Heads start to turn like police who pass. Hear the blast, my crew bust through like tear gas. Fuck a mask, we laced in place like the marshal, sparkle, live life, but hard through um the tar view. Wreck this rhyme, start relentless roughness, and fuck up your party for your paying motherfuckers. Once I commence for you ladies and gents, I kick rhyme sharper than barbed wire fence. They live and direct from Killer Hill Project, Staten Island, New York. You can't help but to hawk. Lay it um on your dental. That's if you want it hostile. Sounds so underground. I write my rhymes on fossil. Dudes like this force me to get you open. Lyrically, wet you open until you soak in. So that's his 16 bars right there. Shout out the deck. And you know what's so sad? Because I'm going to make a connection with this situation with deck. The situation is, if that verse was on there, imagine people like, damn, who the hell is that? Who the hell is that? That would have been more anticipation for his album that was supposed to come out around that time. But this is this is actually the second the second like ship being being synced for deck. He lost his album in the flood. RZA lost his album. RZA had a flood 
at his house in New Jersey. Yes, the, his album got lost. Not only his album, but like over a hundred beats Richard made and a couple of other albums he he um he made was lost. So it's almost like deck. I don't like to say bad luck, but it's like things kept happening in his life that he was supposed to actually go to the next level. Cause everybody knew him on Enter the Woo, 36 Chambers, like, oh damn, who's this dude? He tight as hell. You know what I'm saying? Having a you know, one of the best verses on um Protect Your Neck. He was on Cream. He's all over the album. He was on Method Man's to Cal. He had the best verse to me on Guillotine Swords. He's on two tracks on Liquid Swords, Duel of the Iron Mike, and he's on um Cold World. So he did his thing. You know what I'm saying? He did his thing on Assassination Day, Ghostface Iron Man, Wu Tang Forever. He killed that album right there. You know, every time he he got on the track. So you knew Deck was coming with something. He was coming with the heat and corrupting them respected Deck at the time because they knew Deck was like, man, that's the man. And corrupt was the man. On the West Coast, when it came to lyrics, nobody could have messed with corrupt on the on the um with the lyrical prowess. Not at all. It's just sad that happened. But corrupt also said that Tupac never had beef with Wu Tang Clan. That was no beef because he took him off. It wasn't like, okay, I'm taking you off and um we got problems. Like, no, nah, it was never like that. It was just a situation, it was just more business. Um, oriented. That's all it was. It's a, it's a business. So it's sad that that went down as far as deck verse being removed. But overall, imagine, I'm going to have to do another video about this. Imagine if deck would have released his album right after Liquid Swords. Because that's when he was supposed to come out. He was supposed to come out right after Liquid Swords. And that was going to be at the beginning of 1996. But at that time, he couldn't come out. But he was going to actually start working on his album. But that's when um, RZA, Razor Sharp Music got um, created and he signed with um, Sony and they actually said, I'm going to do the Ghostface because people were still feeling for the Ghostface project. Um, like, oh yeah, because you know, Ghostface was all over Raekwon. So they're like, let's, let's keep this energy going. So Deck talked about this on Vlad TV. He talked us about this on um, Yada Mean podcast, that's Lord Jamar's podcast. He spoke about this, you know, on special special occasions or different occasions, whatever, just he just said like it's one of those situations like there's nothing you can do, just gotta understand, let the let the show go on. Because imagine if Deck would have dropped his album, Raekwon would have never dropped only built for Cuba Links. But Rizza also said that Deck's first album, not uncontrolled substance. I mean, yes, he made that, but that wasn't that Riz only did like two or three tracks on that album. The rest was like Deck, Fourth Disciple, and some other producers, whatever. But RZA produced Deck's first album before it was lost in the flood. He, RZA said that album was up there with Liquid Swords and only built for Cuba Links. And I believe it. It had the Spider-Man theme too. The Spider-Man theme. Swing it to your town like a neighborhood Spider-Man. It's just sad, man. You know, some things that can happen. You never know what can happen in hip-hop. But um, uh, that's just one of those things. What if? What if, if Deck was on I Got My Mind Made Up? The original track and it would have came out on all eyes on me or dog food y'all let me know what you think post your comments below hoax smash black panther the like button subscribe to my channel click the bell icon to be notified when i upload new content and go live you want to support and donate to the channel i have patreon patreon.com slash kofi universe venmo cash app paypal streamlabs everything's in the description until next time salute